Hello and welcome. Today is the uh, 17th day of November 2016. Welcome to the Silver Charts channel. And when I do a YouTube search for currency ban, at least the one that I did on this date, the top three results came in as people anger on currency ban in Delhi. Two days ago, over one third of a million views. Currency ban. As it par Mandy, traders protest against Arvind and a word. Nine hours ago, over 6,000 views. And big debate on currency ban before winter sessions, one day ago, and 40,000 views. So if you're not aware, what has occurred in the last week and change is the Indian government has decided to ban the 501,000 rupee notes immediately, meaning they are no longer legal for trade and they must be returned by the end of the year at the bank. And it doesn't sound like the worst of things in perspective in that, okay, well, if I get new notes back, I guess I'll go to the bank one day and get my new ones back, but it's going to go a lot deeper than that. For going to uh, a web page from livemint.com, there's a lot more things within it, but I really want to focus on number one and number three. Beginning Friday, the amount of old 500 and 1,000 rupee notes that can be exchanged at bank branches is reduced to 2,000 for one person from 4,500. And may I point out what a rupee is worth in the exchange rate? In Canada, it's a 50 to 1 approximate rate, which means I can take the 1,000 unit note and divide it by 50. And that's like the $20 bill that is extremely common in Canada. And it's the 1,000s was very common in India as well. So it's like the 10 and $20 notes in Canada. And with the U.S. exchange, it's even lower than that. We'll say 7.5 and 15. So the most they can get is only 4,500. And it's going to go down to 2,000 starting, well, now. And that's... Like bringing a $20 bill into the bank and getting 40 bucks back. And if you got like, say, $5,000 on you, you got to do it every day. That's just wrong. It's I'm surprised they're allowing that to take place. But if you want to see why some of the Indians are pissed off, well, I would see why. But look at the withdrawal limits here. 25,000 per week for a farmer, which is 5,000 more than the general public. Why? To help them in buying seeds and fertilizers on time. And if you get technical, money in the bank, or excuse me, currency in the bank, isn't really yours. You're technically lending them out to you, and this is a way of them paying it back on your demand. But... If the general public gets 20000 that's like $400 per week. I mean, myself, I'm restricted to 500 per day. And that in itself, I think, is wrong again. But the system's in place like it is. I've also heard that gold is going for close to $3,000 per ounce. I think it's twenty four or 2800 I forget the number if you could find it as well, too. And of course, I'm talking the actual physical bullion metal that's going for that price. Silver, I would assume, is working out in the same sort of way, but it does seem as if we might be in some big accelerated push of an Indian currency collapse that's uh, playing through. And, and really, this this number one is really what's going to gotta go through it. Here are some images of uh, some people waiting in lines over the last few days. This is a Google image search for that of Bank Lineup India. And from what I've seen, I've seen a video of such that it's going blocks and blocks and miles away. It looks like when you're in line and you're literally a mile or mile away from the bank. You're going to be in line for hours and hours just to get the equivalency right now of about a hundred dollars. 
Canadian, about 70 or so U.S. Thank you for tuning in and have yourself a great day. Bye-bye.